think you've done a really good job on the painting technique. It does not look at all like a photograph. You've brought in just enough detail and it's a very strong image to begin with. The composition is really good. I like the side lighting. It's very powerful. Now we need to use the features in Photoshop to really make it punch and sing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the color balance. And in this case, it's a winter scene. I'm going to go to the high, I mean the shadow, and I'm going to bring the blue down to put a little bit more blue into the shadows. Then I'm going to go to the highlights because I want it to be a little bit warmer scene, and I'm going to bring some warmth into that snow, like the sun shining off of it. And just peek the red a little bit in the building. Okay. Now we can turn that on and off. And we can see how the color has more punch now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the contrast and brightness. And these, you just got to sort of push them around to see the effect. What you want to watch out for is you don't want to lose the detail in the white areas. So I'm going to push that to there and then just try contrast. Okay, contrast is helping some. Gives it a little bit more feeling of sunshine. Okay, let's turn that on and off. Looks pretty good. Let's look at levels. Okay, let's bring the white in a tad, try and brighten that up some. Yeah, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think overall it still looks a little too blue. Um, I'll try something different. I'm going to uh, get on to where it says camera filters, photo filters. And we can add, we can pick whatever color we want, but this orange is pretty good. And let's try pushing that in there and see what it does. Turn it on and off. Yeah, that's just warmed it up some. Now I like the blue up here in the trees, and this particular layer has a mask on it. So if we click on the mask and we have black, and we go just regular paintbrush. We can paint it on the mask to bring that blue back and still maintain the warmness in the snow. And I might do the same thing with the shadow areas here just to cool them down a bit. Okay, and now we can turn that on and off. And we see it's just added a little warmth to the snow. Now overall this looks pretty good. Um, the, the one more thing I would say we need to do is darken the edges. So I'm going to add a new blank layer. And I'm going to say select all. Then I'm going to go on over and go to stroke. And uh, let's see what 10 does. And I want the color to be black. Say OK. Then we're going to go to Filter, Gaussian Blur. And we can adjust this to see how far that comes in. Now remember, it's going to look pretty bad when we do it this way. But then what we're going to do is we're going to go on up and we're going to change the opacity. So it doesn't look like it's doing anything. And then when we turn it on and off, we're going to see the effect. So this is what we ended up with. I'm going to deselect. I don't want those dotted lines bother me. Okay, this is what we ended up with. And as we shut these off, we can see that we go back to what we started with. Perfectly good painting just doesn't have enough punch to it, enough contrast. The colors aren't quite vivid enough. And by doing these effect filters, we can make that happen.
but I think it's a great job. I hope you find this helpful.